Hello, members. I'm Lauren Thompson, bringing you the latest edition of your Cattail Creek Country Club Insider. This month, we'll hear from members of our team with tips on how to master your par three game and share our winners of the Wilson Scholarship Foundation. Well, to start things off this month, Superintendent Kirk Warburton and head golf professional Chris Costantino have some tips on how to keep our par three holes in perfect playing condition. Take it away, guys. Hello, Cattail Creek members. Golf course superintendent Kirk Warburton. I'm with Chris Constantino, head golf professional. We're out here on hole number 16. It's one of our par threes. And I want to talk about two course care items uh, today. Okay, so you'll find in our divot boxes, sand and seed. The seed is actually bank grass seed. So that's the same as what our tee surfaces are, same as what our fairway surfaces are, and also our greens. So it's really important to know that because we don't want to contaminate the rough with the bank grass seed. So whenever you do fill your divots on the par threes, please use these boxes and keep that contained to the tee surface. So I'm gonna hand it over to Chris now. He's gonna talk about the short tees and best practices when hitting a shot. Thank you. Thanks, Kirk. So we're out here on 16 tee, and I'm gonna hit a shot here and just cover some of the best practices. So I have one of the par three tees. These tees um, do disintegrate. So once I hit the shot, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna discard it into the rough. Um, and then once I take my divot and hit my shot, I'm going to fill up some sand and seed and we'll go make the putt. So we've got a 86 yard shot here. I've got a 54 degree wedge. The pin's in the front. This is a really nice smooth shot for me. I'm gonna set up here. pretty good you can see I've made a divot what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna discard the tee I'm gonna take some sand and seed mix I'm gonna lay it over here in my divot and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna smooth it over with my foot here just so it blends in with the rest of the tee box let's go see if we can make the putt okay we're on the green and I just want to talk about ball mark repair so over here, you can see where the ball's trajectory came from. This is the back of the green and the back of the ball mark. So you want to come here first with your ball mark repair tool, almost an inch away from the, from the, uh, from the mark and just push that in. And coming from behind, push it in and keep working that in from the outside. Don't pop up and, uh, and cause the roots to shear. So the healthiest way to do it is come in, bring it in from the, from the sides and there you have it. Tap it down with your putter and you're good to go. All right, thanks, Kirk. And um, you know, fortunately, my ball mark was really close to the uh, to the hole, so Kirk didn't have to walk very far. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cattail ball mark. I'm going to uh, mark my ball here, and I just want to give everybody a quick putting tip while um, we're so close. And one of the things that I notice is that um, I see a lot of players with their hands really low, and and it affects their uh, setup but it also affects their stroke and it gets their hands and wrists a little too involved. So what I like to do is I like to try to get my wrist bones arched um, and feel like my hands are really high. And from the view that you all are looking at, what you'll notice is that the shaft and my forearms are relatively close to the same plane. And when the hands get low, now it looks like two different planes. So basically when I get my hands high like this, I feel like I can just kind of rock my shoulders back and through and make a really nice stroke. So we'll go ahead and line it up here see if we can make the putt. Routine birding on 16. Thank you, Kirk and Chris, for this important information. Who knows, maybe we'll see some holes in one this month. Well, next up, it's time to thank all of our members for their support of the second annual Nobody Better Golf Tournament and awards dinner benefiting the Spencer Wilson Scholarship Foundation. Congratulations to all the winners you see scrolling at the bottom of your screen. In all, Cattail staff has been awarded over $65,000 in scholarships thanks to this foundation. None of this would be possible without the dedication of our scholarship committee, event sponsors, and most of all, Andy and Melissa Wilson, who put together this amazing event. We look forward to a bigger and better event in July of 2024.
And that's all for this month. Thanks so much for tuning in to your Cattail Creek Country Club Insider. As always, I'm Lauren Thompson, and I'll see you next time.